Hey guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a sliding door. So here I have a door. I think I built it pretty well. Not really, but I didn't really try on it. Basically, I just built a small door. So after you build your door, which I already did, you want to insert a script into the door part. And do, so the first line, first, well first you want to make your variables. So, vers. So local tween service, because we're going to be using the tween service in this tutorial, is equal to game get service tween service. Okay, now we want to get the door. So local door is equal to script.parent, because the door is the parent of the script, as you can see right here. Put that back. Okay. Next, you want to do local, local tween, uh, local open door, local open door is equal to tween service, cr colon create, and then we want to do um, door, well, create, create, Okay, we want to do door. Um, now we want to do um, tween info. Tween info. Dot new. And then you want to put the time that you want the tween to take. So I want it to take two seconds. And then we need to make the position. So start by putting a table here. And then position is equal to, and then to find the position of the door, what you want to do is grab the door part and drag it down to where you want it to be. So I want it to be right here. So you just grab the position in the properties, grab the position, and undo it. So vector 3 dot new and then the position. So now we have our open door tween and now we have to create our closed door tween. So just copy that line of code do instead of open door, do closed door create um, door same thing but instead we want to do the position that it should end at so we're going to do this position instead of the other one current position. Okay, now what you want to do is go script or door, uh, door is the easiest one, door, door dot touched, connect, function, and then hit. So when the door, it gets the part. Okay, so you want to do if hit dot parent find first child humanoid humanoid then okay then open door play and wait Three, close door, play, oops, made an error, okay, and then wait three. So this should, when the part is hit, um, this should close and open the door. Just there's one missing thing, if we need to do this we always have to have a cooldown. So local cooldown is equal to false. So instead of doing if hit.parent dot find first child humanoid, we want to do and well, we want to add and and then we want to do cooldown. So if cooldown is equal to false, then cooldown is equal to true. So we need to make it true. 
Make sure to use two uh, two equal signs or it won't work. Okay, then at the end we need to do cooldown is equal to false. So this should work. This should work pretty good. Um, I think I'm on my main account right now. Yeah, I'm on my main account. One of my alternate accounts was banned recently. Um, yeah, one of my alternate accounts was banned permanently. Okay. Um, I'm kind of dressed up as a porta potty. Uh, sorry about that, but um, yeah. Okay, so when the door is touched, it slides down just like that, and then it slides back up. So pretty simple, pretty simple. I'll have the script in the description um, to make sure it works. Uh, you guys can use it. I'll have it in the description. This, that's basically the tutorial. Um, if this, yeah, this is a pretty good, I guess, tutorial. I don't know. So yeah, we just use tween service, and now I can just go right through. Go through the door. So you can do this any way. You can do it to the side in any way, any position. It'll just go straight to the position and the amount of time you want. There's other ways to edit it. You can you can edit the tweens info like more than just the time, but I I don't really I don't really know what the point of that is. Then you can make like the easing styles and stuff. So yeah, that's basically it for the tutorial. I hope you guys have a good day. Hope you wash your hands. Hope yeah. Um hope you have a good day. See ya. Bye.